Why, hello, guys and gals. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Kim, and I go by Kimberkiss Cosmic Queen here on YouTube, also known as Kimberkiss. We're gonna get right into the reading. Yes, I had coffee. Sorry, guys, it just, you know, shit goes down when Kim has coffee. Magnetic souls, bottom of the deck. Your sacred souls are instantly drawn towards each other. Let's get right into this reading today. Twin flame. <coughs> As I cough, my bones up. Sorry, guys. Issues. Okay. No more smoking for Kimmy. That's the damn sure. Okay. Quality time. Quality time means putting away the phone <laughs> and clearing your brain of anything distracting so you can ensure that your partner is your number one focus. So some quality time. that quite a lot actually I've been just taking some time for myself while I able to we have explored oh my gosh these cards take a ride ooh, and explore new scenery or each other's inner thoughts I love that final shot in the reverse oh geez I'm scared to read this so this is explore. We have final shot in the reverse. This says, now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if. Oh shit, guys and gals. No pressure, nothing. 222 on the phone. It was 2022. Um, I'd probably be editing this though, so it might be different when you're viewing it. But I saw 2022 on my phone. 222. 222. I can't talk today. Oh, two, 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 not two, oh, two, two. What the fuck am I saying? Okay, now is the time. The clock is ticking. If you never shoot your shot, then you will always wonder what if. And it was two, two, two on the clock. Oh, shit. <sighs> control issues, bottom of the deck. Yeah, we got this yesterday. By trying to control this situation, you'll only slow down your answered prayers. Let the divine take the lead. See, this is what's so fucking confusing and con conflicting for all of you because we have like hurry the fuck up, this is your final shot, and then it says, slow the fuck down, stop trying to control it. I was like, what the fuck do we do? What the fuck do we do? What do what the fuck do I tell my subscribers to do? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to tell them to do if you're telling me two things? What the fuck am I supposed to tell them to do? Can I get a clarifier? For them too. Ba ba da ba do ba boo ba do. Da ba do ba do ba do. That's why I shouldn't drink coffee before I film. Oh shh. Like slow down. Okay, this is what it's about. It's about slowing down. Look, we got our answer. Final shot in the reverse. Why it's in the reverse? Every like maybe you're feeling like it's rushed and it needs to hurry. But this is you trying to control it, and what the universe is actually telling you to do is to slow it down. Just because we want something so bad doesn't mean we have to rush into it. Okay. Take a moment to talk with your partner or self to reflect on what is best. Here you go, ladies and gents. That's our clarifier there. And the reason it's in the reverse is because we're not slowing down. We're trying to rush it. We feel like we need to rush it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> Divine union. I can't even talk. <clears throat> in the reverse but it says congratulations it's time to celebrate both you and your partner have healed and learned the important lessons to allow this union to manifest it's going to take some time to allow this union to come into fruition that's the message you need to explore within yourself you need to go within you need to figure out the root cause of the control issues i think this came through like the last reading and then your divine union will happen but you have to heal and you have to learn the important lessons to allow this union to manifest. Damn. All right, spirit. I hear you. I got you. Full romance angels. Express your love. See, 
this is so confusing. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. But it's like telling you to slow the fuck down. So I think this is like after you've slowed the fuck down and after you've gone within and after you've healed, then it's okay to express your love. That's the key. But maybe someone here is going to be. Release your ex. In the reverse, so some of you haven't released your ex yet. The time has come to clear your energy. So it's wanting you to release your ex and trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. <sighs> Fuck. These aren't easy messages for you guys and gals. I'm sorry. I wish they were. <laughs> Let's pull a lover's path tarot. We got justice. In the upright, we got Queen of Coins in the, the sideways. What the fuck does that mean? I really don't know, but we're going to find out. <clears throat> Justice here. Penelope and Odysseus. Odysseus. Why can't I say his word, his name? Why can't I talk? Keywords are justice, wisdom, fairness, detachment. I don't want to read this whole story thing. I guess I will. The story of Penelope and Odysseus is told in Homer's The Odyssey. Through the Odysseus, am I saying, I can't say his name, sorry, had been gone for 10 long years. That's a long ass time. See, this is a slow fucking shit show thing. Penelope waited loyfully, or loyfully, loyally. <laughs> Why can't I talk? <laughs> loyfully. <laughs> loyally for his return. However, she was overwhelmed with suitors who wished to fill the delay, to delay their advances. No, I can't talk. Who wished to fill the empty place in her marital bed. <laughs> Through her cleverness, she managed to delay their advances. Pretending to be a new suitor, Odysseus won a contest Penelope had devised and slew all the suitors before claiming his wife anew. <laughs> what the fuck? Meanings, justice will be done. Confident patience. <laughs> yeah, right. Need for a more detached viewpoint of a troublesome situation. Yeah, right. Um, so that was in the upright. <laughs> That's what that means. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> Queen of Coins. I'm sorry, I'm giggly. Queen of Coins. Okay. Queen of Coins. Queen of Coins. The keywords are fertility, prosperity, beauty, and generosity. Meanings are creating prosperity and harmony, fertility, possibly parenthood, loyalty, warmth and affection, love. Reversed is need to ground oneself, an over-materialistic orientation to life, and disappointment in the home. So this is what some of you are experiencing. Um, could be within your own selves. Like sometimes the home refers to either you or your twin, so take it how it resonates. But it's like almost on its side, so I feel like it's almost resolved. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Kim, learn to talk. Okay? So your subscribers can follow along with what the fuck you're actually trying to say here. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Crisis, for sure. Kim, Kim can't talk. So, oh, we got the lovers here. Attraction. No, fuck. Okay, let me shuffle these. Let's shuffle them. We're gonna, oh, that was terrible shuffle. Let's shuffle again. Oh, nope. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Oh, shit, it's still not. <laughs> ah, I feel like this is kind of like how the relationship is going between you and your twin. If you're like, okay, we give it a shot. Okay, no, it's not the right time. Give it another shot. Oh, no, 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 no. Give it a third shot. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's the universe telling me you need to chill the fuck out. Calm down. Oh, that card just flew out. What are you trying to tell me, spirit? Romance in the reverse. Yeah, you got to allow it to unfold naturally. Competition here. There's some competition. Oh, fuck. These cards are just flying out the way they want. I'm sorry. This is so not organized. Ah! Indecision in the reverse. Privacy in the reverse. The romantic in the reverse. Okay. So there's indecision here with your twin. So we're doing Divine Masculine right the fuck now. So they see you, like they see that they're falling for you. We have two romance cards, one in the past, one in the future. 
And in between that, we have indecisiveness and privacy. Like they want privacy and they're not sure at the moment. But there are romantic feelings there. But they're refusing to see them. Um, this is causing them and you disappointment. <laughs> and <clears throat> they want to move towards you, but they don't know how. And they feel possessive either over this indecisive energy or way of being or privacy way of being. Um, or they're possessive over you. Yeah, the builder. Like, they want to build something with you, but it's bringing on way too much fucking anxiety here. Like, they're like, I want to build something with this person, but I am just way too fucking anxious. It's depleting my energy. It's just too much. What else can we get for it? Okay, yeah, it's calling them to trust too. <coughs> we have the romantic, right under the romantic, where this would fall. Because we have one, two, three. Yep, three rows here. This is the fourth. Number four again. Number four again. <laughs> fourth row for a significant. Like yesterday's reading, if you didn't check it out, watch it. Because holy fours. Um, we have romance in the reverse with the fool in the upright. Trust the romantic feelings that they're feeling because they're not... And it's asking them to be a little bit uh, spontaneous. Um, a little bit out of the norm from what they're used to being. I think they are spontaneous. I'm not saying they're not adventurous, not spontaneous. But this is like more so than what they're used to. Okay, let's see. I'm hearing the song Black Beauty by Lana Del Rey. So that might have something in the lyrics that is wanting you to hear it or maybe something in the tune of it. Um, so I'll put that in the description box below. It's a good song. Um, but that just like was told for me to tell you the song. <clears throat> they're like, you're like, they're like the black sheep, but they're beautiful to you. But it's going to be a, whatever message stands out for you. On top of the fool, we have the analyst pointing towards the past. So See, it's asking them to trust, and instead they're in their head, they're anal overanalyzing everything when really they just need to, like, trust what they're feeling in the heart, okay? Under disappointment, we have difficulty in the reverse, so they're having a big, difficult time getting out of their mind space, getting out of their head space. We have understanding and strength in the reverse under the mover, so they are trying to understand why they're so pulled to you, why you're so, like, seducing to them, why your energy just, like, sucks them in, or why they're so drawn to you. Maybe, <coughs> maybe they want to move towards you, but they're, like, not strong enough to yet because they still have to overcome the mind and they have to understand the situation. And they're just not understanding it quite yet. But we do have movement going towards the future with the chariot here. And this is determination. Like they're really determined to do something towards what they actually want to do. It's just like either either still in this indecisive energy or they're just going to be coming out of it soon. Okay, because this is what the cards are telling me here. They definitely want to move towards you. We have the mover and the chariot. Um, the number seven might be significant for some of you here. But yeah, it's like they really, they they know, they know they want to move towards you, okay? And they're quite determined in everything that they pursue. Like they always get what they want. So yeah, let's see. Responsibilities. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh my God, you guys. I can't right now. I'm like... Proposal in the reverse. What the fuck? Okay, let's see here. Hold on. Hold on, spirit. They got a lot to say. Well, that's coming in, but they need to hold up because <laughs> I need to accumulate my thoughts here or get them organized. Okay, we responsibilities. Romance interrupted. Duties come first. Yeah. This is being interrupted and blocked by responsibilities, duties. This is causing difficulty, disappointment. Um, the romance is there, but it's hard to deal with or even think about because there's just too much on you and this person's plate I feel like tch, welcome to the matrix proposal in the reverse <clears throat> your romance is about to evolve and level up but you're doubting it but it is and there could be a third party situation here because we have third party and you may be dealing with a karmic situation so either you or them could be dealing with a karmic 
person, place, or thing, okay? Um, and we have rendezvous here. A private getaway for two is calling you. Oh, shit. See, Spirit's like, hey, you need to rendezvous. They want to rendezvous with you. We have reaching out here. Expect a call or a text from your person of interest. Oh, shit. But it's asking you to have self-love still, like, and fearless. Like, fearless love, self-love, and there's definitely magnetism here. And this could be your life partner, you know? I feel like bonding has been a little bit interrupted because of the responsibilities here. But ultimately, this is your life partner, and there's tons of fucking magnetism here. If you can get to this, like, self-actualized um, understanding of the love that you have for yourself and to be fearless in that. So... The messages are pretty clear. Okay, let's pull some of these. Okay. 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 We'll take them. This one that flew out first is quantum love and morphing into one. So you're going to want to um, remember, don't, this isn't with control issues. This is when you feel you feel divinely called to, like they're calling out to you to meet them in the 5D. That's when you want to, when you feel that they're calling out to you to do that. But you don't want to like force it is what they're saying. We are definitely Lemurians and we are definitely Lemurian and friends with dolphins. That flew out second. Then fairy slash elemental love flew out third. So that's kind of interesting. Um, Maybe both of you can do some pretty amazing magic with the elements and maybe you had past lives of, as fairies and or you have amazing guides that are fairies, which are just higher dimensional aspects of you, basically. Syrian remembrance, so definitely like mermaid slash mermen consciousness here, um, definitely because we have Lemurian, which would be like the people. Um, friends with dolphins and Syrian remembrance is a water world. So again, dolphins and whales and um, mer people. So you have this remembrance that you're from Sirius, both of you, and that you're Lemurian as well. And we have rebirth and creating here. So you're both going through a huge rebirthal and you're both creating some pretty cool things and you will be together. Like it'll be like an explosion of color that you've never perceived before. Also, frequencies and pleasure that you've never experienced before. Wow. It's getting hot up here. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I heard Melly on the radio for the first time in a very long time. And I was like, what the fuck? Is this song like a really old song? But here it was like a newer song. But I thought it was old because it was Melly. Reminds me of that song, the Hot in Here song. Let's see. My hair is really soft today and I can't stop touching it. It's like, <laughs> so weird. But it's, you know, sometimes when your hair is really soft, like when you actually have like a good hair day and your hair feels soft, it feels soft today. I like it. <laughs> now I got hair in my cards, yay. Issues, Kim. <laughs> Issues. Oh, hairy cards. Oh my God, maybe that should invent that. Hairy cards, like cards with fur. <laughs> but not animal fur, because that's cool. Not a real green dress, that's cool. If I had a million dollars. If I had a million dollars. I'd buy you a dress, but not a real green dress, that's cool. I love that part, it's funny. Okay, we have the devil and the lovers, what the fuck? Oh shit. Coming out of a karmic cage to go towards your twin. Coming out of a karmic cage. This is like the cage that you put yourself in. And you're seeing it now. You're like self-actualizing it. And your twin's helping you to come out of it. If I had a million dollars. Yeah. Queen of Wands here. This is like strong self-empowerment. Knowing that you can like work with fire with your mind. Um, yep. You're very fiery energy, very passionate, like very creative. Like your creations are, are what's going to help you to manifest out of whatever situation it is that you're going through, whether this be divine feminine or divine mas masculine. Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick and your brain starts ticking. Put your next files with the lights on. 
Okay, I don't know why I'm singing very naked ladies now. Okay. Six of Cups in the <laughs> sorry guys. Six of Cups in the reverse. <coughs> hmm. Lots of things you could do. Like lots of streams of income. Um they want you to be curious. Ace of Cups and offering a change and an offering coming in under the lovers here. Oh shit. And Ace of Wands. Two aces here. We had three yesterday. If another one fucking pops out, I swear to God, I'm gonna like flip my shit. We have Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, an offer, a very like deep offer coming in, um, and a very passionate, fiery offer coming in and um, communication here. Your, your Divine Masculine could have a lot of options, or you could have a lot of options, Divine Feminines. <clears throat> You're following your heart, and when you look to your future, you see this person. But they don't necessarily see you. They have a feeling that they do, but they don't quite yet. It's weird. It's like in the past, they did. No, in the past, you did. It's like you have this whole entire time, but the Masculine isn't getting it. <laughs> He might a little. Um, let's see. Let's get a clarifier for King of Pentacles. So yeah, he's still working through some pain, some fighting, some um, inner, doing some inner healing and some inner battles, fighting some things. But he's finally picking up his sword and about to go do it. Um, or you could be divine feminines. Just take it how it resonates here. Yeah, he's about to come into his power. Like, it's like you hold this wand and you're giving it to him and he's breathing life into it. However that resonates. Let's see. Well, isn't that fancy? Look at this pen. <laughs> maybe he's a writer. Maybe you're a writer. Maybe you're both going to be writing some books or things. Or journaling, maybe writing feelings down to heal and journal. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a house, but not a real greenhouse. That's cruel. <laughs> oh, I make up my own words. Oh, we have elephant in the room, bottom of the deck. Yeah, elephant in the room. Something that needs to be spoken about that no one's going to go there. Like, no one's going to go to this elephant in the room because he's taken up the whole damn room and it's transparent and it is what it is, right? And no one's willing to speak on it. Ooh, we have 50 shades of gray up in here, like quite a few times. <laughs> um, we have 75 here, number 75, which is a number 12, which is a 3. Um, balance and this is light cannot exist without a shadow shadow work babies journaling feelings I feel um, misperception can also run our genes and control our biology of being pick your perceptions wisely okay so pick your perceptions wisely don't let your mind play tricks on you is what I'm hearing trust your instincts here don't let your mind play tricks on you and challenges brought forth to add depth. So you both could be going through like challenging situations right now, but it's only going to make your bond that much stronger. You have the power to make changes and feel complete. Okay. Addiction could be a factor of you feeling like you can't. Addiction could be cured with dissociation. Um, we have... Master number 77 here, resistant and guarded in reverse and secret club. It's like you have so many secrets that you perhaps are keeping from this person. Like it's like maybe you told this person how you feel and now they have like things they need to tell you, but they're not. And it's like so transparent or it could be like you have more to tell them and they can feel it and they know it, but they're like guarded and resistant or you both could be. Um, this is also some like 50 shades of gray shit up in here like 
kinky shit, um, <laughs> the secret club. Um, I think your relationship is a secret maybe too. So take it how it resonates. All right. If I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a dress, but not a real green dress because that's cruel. Yeah, I don't know why I keep saying that. It must mean something. So what does that mean? Like, what is a green dress made out of? Let's find that out. And maybe that's a, that's a, the animal is a sign or something. Gaze into the mysteries of your inner life. Okay, so yeah, you're going to be doing shadow work and seeing your magic and your spirit animals as well are communicating to you, obviously, through this reading. And we also have exposing the lies and deception. If you look in this cave... There's a fucking UFO and like what goes underground, the fucking reptilians. And I feel like a lot of you are exposing them. Like this is part of both of your missions is to expose the darker forces that be. Um, yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. You're, you're both light workers for sure. Holding the lantern here. <clears throat> if I had a million dollars. Let's pull some sexy cards. Sexual cards. Flame Fantasies deck by me. We're going to pull some letters too today. Skip some words. <laughs> I just want to grind up against you so hard. So this is like Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. What they would want to do. <laughs> I'll let you guys read that one. Love it. If I had a million dollars, I'd buy you a little. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you guys read these because I'm not about to read them. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, snap. And, yeah, we got that one yesterday. Okay. Let's see what else he's thinking. Our connection is magical. They know it, but they're in denial. The connection is magical. Did we get that card yesterday? I feel like we did. They really want to reiterate that. They know the connection is magical. I imagine what it'll be like to live with you. We got that card as well. Trust in the divine timing. Trust in the divine timing. And I just want you so bad. Okay? That's what we got going on here. The divine timing is a, definitely a thing, if you kind of tell by the beginning <laughs> cards. Um, what are you doing, Kim? I don't know. Okay, we're. Pull some Hermit Tarot. You are my everything. Number 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 01, 55, 555, five, 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 those numbers, yeah. Um, you are my everything, okay? You're a 10 to them. You're a dime. That's top of the line. Cute face, small waist with a big behind. That's what you is. <laughs> She's a dime. That's top of the line. Cute face, small waist with a big behind. Dime. That's top of the line. Cute face, small waist with a big behind. Okay. You are my everything. And seven in the reverse. I just wish things were different. Don't we know it? Seven again. So we have master number 77 as well. If I get a third seven, I'll let you know. Um, yeah. I just wish things were different. Yeah. They really wish things were different because you're their everything. That says it all. And 10 plus 7 is a 17. And 1 plus 7 is an 8. And if you break that 8 down, what do you get? You get a 44. So 44 again and there. It's another 4. 
four, 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 just like we had yesterday. Boom, 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 and that didn't run. Okay. But you, you heard me. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Why did spirit make me so goofy? I don't know. Ask my dad. My dad's a goofball, and I got it from him. My mom's pretty goofy, too, so I mean, I didn't fucking stand a chance. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground, with your gold in your mouth, hat turned sideways, walking like a cool cat, looking like a fool, though, walking, talking with your pants on the ground. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground, gold in your mouth, your hat turned sideways, walking like a cool cat, looking like a fool, though, walking, talking with your pants on the ground. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I can't rap, but I just, like, pretend that I can. Um, epic. I'm hearing Epic. I'm also seeing the name Erin, E-R-I-N. I'm hearing sap. This person's actually a sap. Meaning like, <laughs> it. what that means is they're, they're you know, they're, they're emotional. I'm seeing the name Doug. Why am I seeing so many names right now? This is interesting. Maybe Erin zapped you, Doug. She zapped you with her, her magical energy. Sid. I'm seeing Sid from Toy Story. <laughs> Creepy. Uh, let's see. What else am I getting? I'm seeing the color red. And I'm also seeing Ren. Or Rend. Like Render. I don't know what that means. But I'm, I'm, red is definitely a thing here. Um, <laughs> near someone's coming near someone wants to hear everything that's going on with you that is just a song that i just made up da, 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 da. okay so we got near and here and we have heat heat of the moment and cue like right on cue right on cue Okay, take it how it resonates. We're going to pull some numbers. <clears throat> I'm hearing that song Chim Chimney by Mary Poppins. Chim Chimney, Chim Chimney, Chim Chim Chiru. Do, 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 I don't know the words. All that I know is the first five and do, 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 do. Okay. Well, what that means, I have no fucking clue. Maybe Christmas time? Because who comes down the fucking chimney? Santa? So maybe around Christmas time something will occur? <coughs> we have 99 red balloons go by. Look, we have 99. 99 red balloons go by. I keep getting that message. 99 and red. So 99, look, 99 and red right here. 99 red balloons. Um, I think it's going to take one of you to like really stand in your power and then boom, it's go time. We have 72. 72 could be an important year. Um, it also adds to nine. Um, that could be important or it breaks down to three, three, three. We have another nine. Oh my God, you guys. 99 again. I can't make this shit up. Look, 72, 54, 99. Oh my god, we have another nine. You guys, look. We have one. And we have 80. Which is a nine. Nine, nine, nine. And another nine, nine. And then we have... We have a ten. So we have 16, which is seven. And a three, which is ten. We have a six. Or another nine. We have another nine, because it was like this, I believe. So yeah, another nine. So I'll count up all the nines here in a second. Give me a second. We have another, oh, we have seven, 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 just like I was fucking saying. Ah! It was a seven, I swear. Seven, seven, seven. 70, 77. The seven, seven, seven. And we have, let's see, we have nine, 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 nine. I'm at four, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
five, six, six nines. What the fuck? Three, six, nine, baby. Here we go. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. Something important, <laughs> apparently. We'll figure it out. We will figure this out. We shall figure it out. I'm in a goofy mood. Da, 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 da. Oh shit. What did I do? I did that wrong. Oh fuck me. Sideways. Oh well. I'm not dealing with that today, but we're <laughs> we're gonna pull um I just fucked that up. <laughs> I put all the numbers in here and I was supposed to separate them into their little baggies and I didn't do it. Let it go, let it go. Ba ba da ba da. <sighs> End right. We have end, end, E, M, D, and R. End, end it right. It'll end right for y'all. Okay. They're saying it's okay, Kim. <laughs> It'll end right. Chill the fuck out. Okay. Next shows. <laughs> we got a number one. They could be a life cap one, or you could be one. They're, they think you're number one. How about that? I'm seeing the word ball. Like this person's definitely been crying or cried over you. I'm also seeing mall. Like they want to just like hump you. Um, <laughs> gif. They might send you gifts. We have money. <laughs> what the fuck? I said in my head it's going to spell money. And I flip it over and it spells money. <laughs> And we have a blank one, it's a portal, it's a money portal. Money portal, heal portal, leader portal, gift. They are sending you a gift with their money or you're going to accumulate money and this is your gift to give back to the world. I can't believe it just spelled money, just like that. Just like that. Catch me outside, how about that? <laughs> what the fuck? Give me the money, honey. Give me the money, honey. Ba da ba da 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 da. <laughs> Woo! Ba da 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 da. My husband's probably like, what the fuck is she doing upstairs? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna, yeah. They could have those initials as well, so I didn't read them. Um, I'll, I'll zoom in for you guys. Oh shit, dropping stuff. I dropped the letter B. The letter B might be significant. I think you're going to be putting some money in your bank accounts. Oh, Nick. Oh, shit. These bags go in here. Get in there. Okay. Huh. That completes the reading, guys and gals. I am exhausted. I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed that reading. I hope at least. It brought a little bit of confirmation and some entertainment to y'all's lives. And I hope you enjoyed it thoroughly, immensely. And I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, for liking, for commenting, for subscribing. Thank you for all the new subscribers. If you haven't joined already, what are you doing? We have so much fun here. And magic just naturally happens here. And Kim is a goofball today because she had coffee. So sometimes you get this, sometimes you don't. You just kind of got to go with the flow and roll with the punches and that's just kind of how it happens so i love y'all thank you so much for watching and until next time i'll talk to you soon bye now